Hey everyone, I'm Reese, and welcome to my Retro Fair 2020 video. Now, under the rules of the fair, I only have five minutes, so let's get stuck straight in. This is my IBM 5150, and this was the first DOS PC. Uh, this PC was so revolutionary, in fact, that uh, unless you're watching this on a mobile device or on your TV, you're probably watching it on a direct descendant of this machine. Released in 1981 for around $1,500, which is about $4,000 in today's money, the 5150 was famously built to an open standard using off-the-shelf components, which led to an explosion of clones and creation and eventual domination of the standard in the home computer market. The 5150 had an Intel 8088 CPU, which was clocked at 4.77 MHz, and that's what I want to talk to you about today. Things were moving pretty rapidly in the early 80s in the personal computer market and faster and faster machines were being released and started to make this thing look obsolete. As per pretty much every other computer available on the market at the time, the 5150 had its fair share of upgrades and accelerator boards and the one that I'm currently obsessed with is this. This is the PC Sprint and this was released in 1985 by a chap called Doug Severson. And the interesting thing about this is that the plans were made available for free in the computer magazines and on BBSs at the time. And essentially you could have a PCB fabricated, buy all of the components and build one yourself. So that's exactly what I did. The 5150 uses a 14.31 MHz crystal to generate its timing signals, which are then divided by an Intel 8284A clock oscillator chip to generate the 4.77 MHz for the 8088. The PC Sprint works by adding a second 8284A and crystal to generate a faster clock signal for the CPU. Of course, we also need to replace the 8088 with something faster, so I opted for the NEC V20, which was another popular period upgrade in its own right. So let's have a look inside and see how I installed mine. Now I have this thing opened up, I can just point out some of the components in here. So this is the NEC V20 CPU. This was a very popular period upgrade, like I mentioned before. It's just a faster and more capable version of the Intel 8088 CPU that this machine shipped with. I also have the 8087 FPU here, which is a Mathco processor. This one's capable of speeds of up to 8 MHz, so it's the 8087-2. And uh, as far as the timing is concerned, the interesting bits are just here. So we have the original timing crystal just here and the 8284A uh, clock oscillator chip, which is what we're going to be replacing. I've also added a couple of switches here for the PC Sprint. So the PC Sprint adds a reset button, which the 5150 didn't have as standard. And it also adds the turbo button, of course. So let's get this thing installed. So there we have it. Not only do we now have that turbo button that can switch between the original 4.7 MHz clock speed and the new faster 7 MHz clock speed, I also have a reset button. Of course both of these things became standard in PCs in the 80s and the 90s, so it's really nice to be able to add them to this older machine. So we'll just have a quick look at the performance improvements. I'm using the Check It uh, diagnostics and benchmarking tool here because I think it's about the most comprehensive and reliable tool I have, uh, but I have run a few other benchmarks on this PC and they're, they're all pretty unanimous. Um, I'm showing an improvement of 50 to 55% in performance across the board. So, uh, you know, pretty good news there. Now, of course, benchmarks are completely artificial and aren't the be all and end all as far as real world performance is concerned. So I think we should have a look at some games as well. There are a few games on this machine that were just completely unplayable before just because of the slow clock speed. And the turbo mode has made a massive difference to those and really improved the usability of this machine as well, which is fantastic because it means I'll be getting a lot more use out of it. On that note, I've been working on a series of videos about upgrading this PC, uh, including a longer one about the PC Sprint, and those should be along shortly. There's also a link to my GitHub repo with the plans and a lot more information down in the description, so feel free to check that out too. I've made everything available under an open source license in the same spirit as the original, and I'm also working on a version of the PC Sprint with some enhancements as well. So thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the Retro Fair videos. 
I know I will be. <laughs>